What's going on guys? So as you can see on the screen, my SAT that I took is pulled up, the one that I got 1530 on. And what I'll be doing this video is going over the non-calculator section of this SAT and going over every single problem in detail, working it out for you guys. Because you guys need to know the non-calculator's upcoming SAT. Because if you score well on it, man, I promise you, you'll be getting a high, high math SAT score. So let's go forward and let's go to the first question for the non-calculator section math without calculator and start with question one and let's do this so right away i'm looking at this problem and i see that it's asking for a solution to the equation when this gave you two lines the solution means when do they intersect well they intersect at one point what's the point negative one two answer is b correct all right so for number two a checkers enthusiast is customizing a checker set by painting design on each of the 24 checkers in the set it takes an enthusiast 35 minutes to paint the design on each checker. If see the checkers are already painted, which of the following represents the number of additional minutes needed to finish painting the set of checkers. Well, guys, if you look at this, C is in checkers and 24 is also checkers in terms of units. It's C checkers and 24 checkers. So inside the parentheses should be C and 24. It should not be C and 35. 35 is represented in minutes, while C is represented in checkers. How can you do checkers minus minutes or minutes minus checkers? That's not how it works. That's two different units, right? You can't do checkers minus minutes or vice versa. So automatically A and B are gone. It's either C or D. It's saying 24 checkers are the total number of checkers and C, are, C checkers are already painted. So how many do you have to paint more? Well, just do 24 minus C and that's how many checkers are remaining to be painted. And the answer in that case would be C. There it is. Next question, what is the sum of these two all right these questions are bread and butter guys i'm telling you bread and butter super easy right here i'm seeing that the highest degree is to the penta there is no more to the penta which means in the in the resulting uh, sum this this uh term 3x to the penta will stay and will be there it has to be there so a cannot be it b c and d all work let's look at the x cubes all right there's only one x cube term so that stays let's look at the x squared terms this this x squared term will give us the answer because each B, C, and D all have a different x squared term. So let's look at it. We have, erase this. We have 4x squared. Do you have another x squared term? We do. Plus negative 2x squared. So plus negative 2x squared. Which is the same thing as 4x squared minus 2x squared. So the answer is 2x squared. So there should be a 2x squared in the resulting uh, sum. And B has that 2x squared there. C and D don't. So the answer is B. Yes, sir. All right, let's move on. Oh, wrong thing. Line L is shown in the XY plane above line M. I'm not shown parallel to line L and passed through the point zero 03, which is the following is an equation of line M. Okay. So we see that's parallel. Okay, that means the same slope. So what's the slope of this original line? It's down two over three. So the original slope is negative two over three. Wow. And since we know parallel lines have the same slope, only one of the answer choices has the same slope. Negative two over three, so it can only be A. Right there, bang, A. Look at that, no solving need to be done, guys. Just understand, parallel lines, same slope. There's no point of doing any math right there. All you gotta do is look at numbers. What are, what are the slope and the y-intercept of the graph in the xy-plane of the equation? All right. You see a standard form, you guys have to know how to convert from standard form to uh, slope intercept form. So what I'm gonna do is bring the three over. So I have five X plus four Y equals negative three. Then bring the five X over. So bring that over there. So you got four Y is equal to negative, or five, uh, negative five X minus three. Okay, and then divide everything by four. This means the slope is negative five over four. Um, so C and D are gone. And the Y intercept would be negative three over four. Because when X equals zero, this cancels. And wait, right there. So it's negative three over four. Uh, so which ones have negative five over four right there and negative three over four right there? Answer A. Yep. The guy, this is my actual SAT, all right? It's the actual SAT that I took that I spent time on, and I got 790 on. This is my 800 SAT, it's my 791. 
So I'm gonna show you guys my mistake as well. Um, what value of x satisfies the equation above? All right. And there's two ways to do this. Just sub in the value and see which one works or just solve by hand. Um, in this case, I'll just, I'll just plug in a value in. Uh, I'll plug in four. Uh, don't start with A, guys. If you plug in the value, don't start with A. Usually it's never A, so I'll start with B. If you plug in four, you get one fourth times four minus two is equal to three, oh, three minus four. This equals negative one. This becomes one. One minus two is also negative one. Bang, right there. B is your answer. Barely any work done. Guys, be lazy, all right? You want to be lazy right there. Answer is B. Now, the another student, the student who doesn't think outside the box will most likely solve for X and do all this crazy stuff. But why not just sub in values? All right. Uh, erase, oh, oh, that's not how you do it. All right. What is the solution set to the equation above? Um, 2X minus 1 times X plus 2 squared equals 0. All right, so we know negative 2. All right, negative 2 has to be a solution set because negative 2 plus 2 equals uh, 0. And 0 squared is 0, so that this term becomes 0. So negative 2 should be there. Oh, I see negative 2. I don't see... Okay, so B is gone. Uh, 1 half should be there because 1 half times 2 is 1, and the 1 minus 1 is 0, right, inside this parentheses. So 1 half should be there. So positive 1 half is there. Negative 2 is there, so it's either A or C. Will 2 work, guys? Well, if you plug in 2, what do you get? Let's see. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So you have 16 in one parenthesis. And then you have uh, um, 2 times 2, which is 4 minus 1 is 3. That's not 0. So it won't equal 0. So the answer is only A. And if, if you know common, like regular factoring, guys, that's a breeze. I just did that extra step just to show the guys who don't understand factoring as much. In the complex number system, which of the following is equivalent to the expression above? Well, guys, again, all you got to do is add them together, or in this case, subtract. So start off with the constants. 3 minus 2, what do you get? 1. So 3 minus 2 equals 1. So the final term will have a 1. Then you have 4i minus 3i, which is 1i, which is equal to i. So 4i minus 3i equals i. So then you have 1 plus i. Yep. And remember, it's minus 3i because you dish out that uh, subtraction sign. So you got b. And you see that the word, the choice b is repeated a lot on my SAT. I just noticed that looking back. What is the solution to the equation shown? Again, you can either solve the regular way or pick a value. I'm not going to pick A. I'll pick C just because it's easier for me. Um, 0 minus 1 is negative 1 over 3. Zero, that one, 0 won't work. Let's do uh, 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. 0 is not equal to 1. Let's try B. Uh, so you have negative 3 over 3 is equal to negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1 over 2, uh, which is not the same, right? Um, so by process of elimination, the answer is negative five and wow, it's negative five. I guess the one time I didn't select a or try a, it became the answer. And the function above K is a constant. If two is a zero, the function, what is the value of K? Okay. If two is a zero guys, this means that, um, hmm, what does this mean? This means that. If 2 is a 0, that means x minus 2 will be a factor. Because that means if you plug in 2, you get 0. So an, an easier way to do this is what they're saying is when x equals 2, when x equals 2, y, which is this case, y equals 0. So let, let's try that, okay? So 0 is equal to 4, because 2 times uh, 2 squared is 4, minus 22 plus k. So what value of k will make this true? Well, you add 4 to this side, or you subtract 4, and you add 22. So that's 18 is equal to k. It's right there. Answer is D. Yep. So number 11, guys, let's see. 
uh, it's asking for is equivalent to the expression above for x is greater than zero. So it's basically asking for what, which, if this was simplified, what would you get? All right, that's what it's asking. Um, well, there's two ways to do this. One way is putting a value for x. The other way is doing it manually. What I would do, surprisingly in this case, is do it manually. Um, 2 over 3x squared, I would just make a common denominator. So multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. So you get 6x, so you get 4 over 6x squared minus 1 6x squared. And that's that's equal to 3. Oh, that's equal to 3 over 6x squared, which is equal to 1 over 2x squared. So 1 over 2x squared is D. Now, now we're at number 12, guys. And for time purposes, since this video is getting really, really long, I'm probably going to break it down into two parts. This is a part one. And part two will be probably tomorrow so to finish this off guys this is the problem i got wrong all right this is the problem that i got wrong now when you guys look at this you guys are probably like well, how could you possibly get this wrong difficulty is hard all right that's my defense but in hindsight when i look at this problem i could probably finish it in five thousand like milliseconds which is five seconds i don't know why i said five thousand milliseconds but let's do this problem what is the solution set of the equation above like i said there's multiple ways of doing this First things first, you could actually solve and multiply the denominators out and do you know, a bunch of extra stuff. Or, 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 you could just plug in the answer choices and see which ones work. What I'm going to do is, hmm, what would I do in this case? Yeah, I'll just plug in values. It looks like 1 is working, all right? It looks like B is the only one that doesn't have 1. So I'm plugging 1 just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work. If I plug in 1, I get negative, I get, oh. I get negative one over negative two is equal to one plus one over negative two. Huh? So actually this, this would work, right? Because one half is equal to one half. So one works, okay? And that's what I, I expected. That doesn't really tell me anything. So B is not the answer. All right, so we're one step closer to this problem I got wrong. Um, now, do two and three work? Let's try three. Okay, so right away, three cannot work. Let me tell you guys why. I should have saw this for B. You can never have a zero in the denominator. No matter what, you can never have a zero in the denominator. So if, if you put in three, you get one over zero. That's undefined, automatically wrong. So D and B are both gone. So now all we have to do is test two. It's almost like I said test two. Uh, if you put in two right here, the numerator becomes zero. So the left-hand side is zero. Zero equals one over two plus one over two minus three, which is negative one. That's not equal to zero. So answer is A. I mean, is that what, what did I put then? Wow, I picked C, so I almost made the error. I almost repeated my error that I made two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. I was about to say two minus three is negative two which would make it zero, which would make me pick C. So that's why I got it wrong, guys. That's why I got it wrong. Oh, wow. Well, guys, there you have it. That's the problem I got wrong. The SAT that kept me from 800 when I had taken my first SAT. But, you know, it is what it is, guys. Things happen. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a lot. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for part two. Peace.